Welcome to the virtual open house for the U.S. 77 LaGrange Feasibility Study. We appreciate you taking the time to view this information and welcome your comments. Contact information for questions or comments is noted at the end of this presentation. Please click the sign in link on the public meeting page to sign in and let us know that you participated. While viewing this video, you may pause the presentation and navigate forward or backward using your video player. Let's start with an important reminder about safety while traveling. November 7, 2000 was the last deathless day on roadways in Texas. That means for nearly 23 years, at least one person has died every single day. We all have a part to play to change that. This message is that reminder to end the streak of deaths on Texas highways. We need drivers and passengers to act more responsibly and help us reach our goal of zero deaths by 2050. Texans can play a major role in ending fatal crashes with a few simple driving habits. Wear seatbelts, drive the speed limit, put away the phone and other distractions, and never drive under the influence of alcohol or drugs. So please do your part and share this message with your friends and family. US 77 serves as a freight corridor within the Texas Highway Freight Network connecting people and goods locally and throughout Texas. The Texas Department of Transportation, or TxDOT, is conducting a feasibility study to identify and evaluate potential improvements to US 77 to address safety concerns related to truck traffic along the corridor. Goals of the feasibility study include reducing truck-related crashes and improving mobility for local and through traffic. This study focuses on the segment of the roadway that passes through the city of LaGrange. US 77 currently passes directly through the city of LaGrange and serves both local and regional travel, including commercial truck traffic. The road is currently two lanes with shoulders and includes both urban and rural segments through the study area. The road crosses the Colorado River, has an at-grade crossing of the Union Pacific Railroad, and makes several sharp curves over varied terrain south of the city. As part of the study, TxDOT is looking at data related to crashes occurring within the study area between 2018 and 2022. In the map, crash volumes are represented by color, with green representing a lower volume and dark red representing the highest volume of crashes. During this time, there were 180 reported crashes, including 11 fatalities and 22 crashes where serious injuries were likely. 105 of the reported crashes involved commercial motor vehicles. To better understand the causes of crashes along US 77, TxDOT and the study team have broken the information down into rural and urban segments. In the rural segment from Lair Road to FM 2436, there was a total of 27 crashes, four with serious injury and one reported fatality. Speeding, failure to yield at a stop sign, and driver inattention were the top three contributors to crashes in the rural segment. 44% of all crashes involved hitting a fixed object such as the cement road barrier or other stationary objects along the roadway. Nine of the reported crashes involved commercial motor vehicles. In the urban segment from SH-71 through the city to Lair Road, there were a total of 153 crashes, two with suspected serious injuries. The top three contributing factors were failure to yield at a stop sign, speeding, and failure to yield at a driveway. 29 crashes in this segment of US-77 involved commercial motor vehicles. Analysis of this crash information helps to identify cluster areas of crashes and common causes, which help to determine the types of improvements and solutions to evaluate. In addition to the existing roadway conditions and safety analysis, TxDOT examines constraints within the study area. This analysis provides additional factors to consider when developing potential solutions such as roadway improvements, realignment, or identifying an alternate route for truck traffic. This map identifies a variety of constraints TxDOT must consider including water resources, floodplains, cultural resources such as historical locations and cemeteries, and community facilities like parks, schools, and churches. In addition to the environmental constraints, TxDOT must consider geographic and topographic constraints, such as steep grades and land characteristics, which can affect constructability and cost. The feasibility study process will help TxDOT more clearly define potential improvements and identify financially and environmentally feasible options for improvements. TxDOT is currently collecting technical data and will combine this data with input from the public to develop initial concepts for improvements. These concepts will be further evaluated and refined to a preferred alternative, and the study will conclude with a recommended alternative to be further developed. Input from the community will be gathered and incorporated throughout the process. If TxDOT chooses to move forward with the recommended alternative identified through the feasibility study, there will be a multi-year process which includes additional opportunities for the community to be involved and provide input. 
Advancement from step to step is contingent upon the outcome of the previous step and the availability of funding. A schedule for construction for improvements for US-77 has not been identified. Your comments are an important part of developing this project and there are several ways you can share your input with TxDOT and the project team. Email a comment. Click the written comment form link on the Open House webpage to print and mail a comment. Click the online comment form link on the Open House webpage to submit a comment online. Add your comments to the interactive mapping tool linked on the Open House webpage. You are welcome to share comments at any point during the project development process, but comments must be received or postmarked by Friday, July 14, 2023 to be included in the Open House record. Thank you for your interest in the study. We appreciate your participation.